Hi, my name is Melissa Theringer. I am a first year graduate student in the MA program in art history with a concentration in Egyptian art and archaeology. The focus of my research in Professor Corcoran's graduate seminar in art history is a scribal palette in the collection of the Institute of Egyptian Art and Archaeology. The scribal palette is on exhibit in the Egyptian Gallery at the Art Museum of the University of Memphis. Be a scribe. It saves you from toil and protects you from all manner of work. In a text called The Satire of Trades, a master scribe comments on the superiority of the scribal profession to his apprentice. This scribal palette, which measures just over eight inches long, would have been a scribe's main writing tool and dates to the Middle Kingdom, approximately 1878 to 1550 BCE. It was excavated in 1912 from a tomb in Sheikh Farag across the Nile from Abydos by George Reisner in a joint excavation by Harvard University and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. These handheld pieces, usually made from wood, have two inkwells and a slot to hold reed pens. Dried ink cakes would have been in the inkwells and dabbed with water to write with. Black ink was used for text, while red ink was used for titles or corrections. A scribe would chew on the end of the reed pens to create a rough paintbrush. What drew me to this piece is the evidence that it was used before being placed in the tomb. The slight discoloration in the inkwells shows the black and red ink, and one of the reed pens still has black ink on the tip. So who would have owned this palette? Although many palettes are labeled with the owner's name, the identity of the owner of this palette is unknown. It could have been owned by a scribe or anyone who was trained in writing the Egyptian language. Scribes were typically trained in hieratic, a cursive form of the more monumental hieroglyphic script. Since the majority of the Egyptian population were not able to read or write, this person would have automatically been of a higher status than most. Scribes were necessary for a variety of jobs, such as taking the census, recording harvests, and designing tombs. The tomb also contained multiple model boats, pottery, and jewelry, along with this scribal palette, indicating a well-off individual. I love to imagine what this scribe recorded with this scribal palette, especially with this advice from the Lansing Papyrus. Befriend the scroll, the palette. It pleases more than wine. Happy is the heart of him who writes. He is young each day.